Hello, my name is Frank Silverman, the Executive Director of the Martial Arts Industry Association. And if you watched last week's Business is Business video, you know I'm here in the world headquarters for Century Martial Arts Supply, as well as the Martial Arts Industry Association. And on my way walking back from the warehouse, I came across these signs, danger, danger, danger. And it really made me think I wanted to have a conversation about the danger of having a bad month. An old friend of mine used to have this quote that, that I still use today, I think it's amazing. You can have a bad week, but you shouldn't have a bad month. Well, what does that mean and, and what does it mean to you? Well, here's what it means. It means that if we're following our numbers, if we're watching our statistics, if we're goal setting, we have time at any given point of time during a 30 day month to react and fix if something is wrong. So I wanna give you some steps how to avoid the danger of having a bad month. The very first step starts before the month starts. It starts day one of the month, and that's having a goal. How do you know if you're in danger of having a bad month if you haven't even set your goals for the month? So there's two goals that you need to have every month. How many new members do you wanna have, and what is your gross? So I'm just gonna make it kind of easy and say your goal is to have four new members this month, which by the way is not a very big goal, but if your goal is to have four members this month and your goal is to have a $10,000 month, it's very simple. You need to enroll one student a week and you need to generate revenue of $2,500 a week. So what most schools or often schools do is they get to day number 20, 25, and they say, wow, I've only enrolled two members and I've only done $5,000 in sales. Well, with so few days left in the month, there's not enough time to fix it. So one, you should be looking at your numbers every day. But at minimum, at the end of the week, on Friday or Saturday, at the end of the week, you need to take a look. So in our fictitious month of wanting to sign up four new members and having sales of $10,000, on day number six or seven, I would look and say, wow, did I sign up one member? No, that's danger. What do I have to do? So I have to sign up two members next week. Have I generated $2,500 in sales? Well, I've only generated 1,000. That's danger. Now I have to get more money next month or next week. That's okay because it's easier to get $5,000 or an extra 2,500 next week than waiting all the way to the end of the month. So what I want everybody to do is start setting your goals and it doesn't just have to be new member goals and gross goals, it can be retention goals, it can be upgrade goals, whatever it is, retail goals. And I want you to start looking on a daily and a weekly basis. And then adjust your marketing based on your success or lack of success in that week. So for example, if you need to do $2,500 a week and you've done $5,000 in the very first week, let's say your billing's really high, well, does that mean take a vacation the next week or the rest of the month? No, it actually means adjust your goals higher. That's okay. It doesn't mean adjust your goals lower if you fell short. It means add things that will increase your growth in the following three weeks of the month. So it's okay to have a bad week. It's not okay to have a bad month. You minimize your chances of having a bad month if you look daily and weekly so you can adjust your goals as you go and you have time to do so. And finally, I wanna just break it down even more. If I told you I wanted you, let's take a bigger number, I want you to have a $30,000 month, okay? You might say, that's overwhelming, I can't do it. But if we break it down and say that's only $1,000 a day, maybe that becomes easier. You can do the same thing with a $10,000 month, that's only $333 a day. That's the equivalent of selling one Flex Master, one Wave Master, one upgrade, one new sign up, one paid in full, whatever it is, each day. So let's take those big goals, break them down weekly and break them down daily, and let's take those goals and make sure we're managing them properly, which means not waiting to the end of the month and going, I'm in danger, I don't have enough revenue, I don't have enough members. It's about looking weekly and saying, look, I'm right on track or I need to adjust to get on track.